next to the Grand Washington Hotel. Okay, here we go. Head to the service entrance on the east side of the building. Yo, what's up, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Tactical Chaos One, and we are here with some Division 2 Best PvE Hybrid Build video on New Year's motherfucking Eve. It is 2021, about to be 2022 tonight, so how's everybody's night going? I hope you guys have got a lot of crazy shit planned for New Year's Eve, and hope you ain't sitting around as bored as me playing Division 2. And if you are, I hope you guys are checking out my videos and enjoying them. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome to Tactical Chaos 1 Gaming on YouTube. I feel like we got a pretty sick channel going on here. And if you guys want to subscribe to it and help support an up-and-coming YouTuber, you know, the homeboy will really appreciate that shit for real, for real, as you guys. So, uh, right now, we are going to be going over a really sick-ass hybrid striker build that I got put together. And as we run through here at the Grand Washington Hotel on a Heroic, I'm going to be showing you guys how this build works. But to reach the full potential of the build, of course we do have to build the memento up on the backpack talent. That shit was close. So, I am playing on PS5 now. I just got it yesterday. I'm still trying to get used to the controls. But, tell you what, dude. The frame rate is off the hook. And the graphics are super fucking sick. So, I really hope you guys are going to enjoy the videos a lot more. With the better frame rate in my videos. And uh, 4K graphics and shit. I'm super stoked. It took me a long time to get it. I've been looking for a PS5 for a minute. Yeah. Fuck these dudes. Now the build is starting to put up, um, build up to its full potential. So we're going to run through here on this next deck real quick. Smoke some more of these uh, heroic hostiles. Get this uh, striker build going hard and then I will show you guys the stats and we'll go over a little bit about how this build works and exactly how I put it together. Now, when you see me switch to my pistol and get that kill and switch back to my weapon, never forget to use that because that talent is the finisher talent, which grants 30% critical hit damage and 30% critical hit chance for 15 seconds. That is a dope-ass talent, dude, and it will add to any build and make it super sick, any kind of uh, weapon damage, critical hit damage build.
Oh my god, this build is just vicious, you guys. I think we got this build going hard right now. You know, the thing that I love about this build, it's an extremely awesome, versatile build. It's got great weapon damage, and your drone will just eat enemies up, so you got an extra, it's basically like an extra homie smashing on dudes when you're running solo. So, and, and it's adding to your build extremely make, making it extremely powerful sorry guys i'm a little excited making this video because i just got my ps5 so you know i'm all pumped up fucking stoked first time i hopped on the division 2 in a while and i got to play it on ps5 and i noticed this huge difference but enough of the bullshit blabbing on man let's get on with this build i'm gonna show you guys this shit real quick so what we got going on with this build we're gonna go over the stats real quick so we are at 123k weapon damage with the MPX or the Sig XMP. Got that backwards. I don't know what the fuck. 41 PVP damage, 57% critical hit chance with 118% critical hit damage. Now that is an extremely low critical hit damage, and yes, I know that. So try and use your finisher talent, like I was saying earlier, to get that. Yeah, but that puts you at 98, 90% uh, critical hit chance with 150 critical hit damage, and that is just it's. A good combo when you get that finisher going. All right, we're at 106 all weapon damage bonus, which is extremely dope. With no armor on kill right now, but we do have the kill confirmed. So with that, we do regenerate armor. Um, when it's at full max, that's a three percent armor regeneration, which is actually really good. Alright, so those are the stats, sorry. We got um, 1.1 million armor with the technician specialization that adds to a skill tier for us with another skill tier with the memento backpack and then plus an armor attribute and another armor attribute from my gear which gives our shield tier 4. The shield is a key element to this build that allows us to you know, take damage while we're just smashing out everybody around us and having a tier 4 shield makes it uh, pretty powerful for a good weapon damage build. And now we got the uh, SIG MPX with NSYNC on it. And this is hitting an enemy grants 15% skill damage for 5 seconds using a, a skill or damaging an enemy with a skill grants 15% weapon damage for 5 seconds. Shooting an enemy with your weapon and with your skill will double that. So 30% weapon damage and 30% skill skill damage and then we're going to go over to my chest piece which is group samba uh sorry group samba door kick is um chest piece named item and this has perfect spark on it damaging enemies with the skill increases total weapon damage by 15 percent so when i'm uh got my instinct going hard with the uh drone and my my smg that is 45 percent weapon damage and 30 percent skill damage and then with the Memento backpack, we have two buffs, one short-term and one long-term. And so the short-term buff goes off your attributes. 5% uh, weapon damage for every weapon damage attribute. When that's 5, so that's 25% weapon damage every time I collect a tag for 10 seconds. 20% bonus armor and 10% skill efficiency. Now my long-term buff, which stacks at 30 stacks, is 30% um, weapon damage. 30% skill efficiency and 3% armor regeneration for 300 seconds and as long as you keep collecting tags that buff will not die 
And then we go on to the striker build. I have a four piece striker gear set and I chose to have the mask, the gloves and the knee pads. And here's why, because uh, I want t my talents for my backpack and my chest piece. Why waste the talents on just another uh, striker talent? This is what makes the build a lot more powerful in my opinion. So with the striker gear set, we have 15% uh, weapon handling, 15% rate of fire. And uh, when you have four pieces, you get the weapons gam or striker's gamble, weapon hits, amplify total weapon damage by 0.5%, stacking up to 50 times. So that is a 25% weapon damage bonus that adds on with that. And stacks are lost, two stacks are lost each second, but you no longer lose a stack when you miss a shot, which just now made this build fucking meta super sick with it this build is extremely op now and uh yeah the striker gear set is going hard and so you want a uh, weapon with high uh rounds per minute that's why i chose the sig mpx you could also use like the vector or some shit but the higher rounds per minute you got the quicker your uh striker build is going to build up so i'm gonna look at this we have uh weapon damage critical hit damage and critical hit chance on my mask Weapon damage, critical hit damage on the holster. I have armor attribute on the knee pads because we need a little bit of armor with the build with critical hit damage on it. And on my gloves, I got 15% weapon, da weapon damage and critical hit damage. My backpack, a critical hit damage mod with uh, three core attributes. You guys know with the Memento backpack, it's got weapon damage, armor, and a skill tier. And my group Sombra has weapon damage, critical hit chance, and critical hit chance mod. Now the thing is with this is there's skill haste on here, which I don't really need. But um, this is the only door kicker's chest piece I have at the moment. So this is what I'm rocking. You guys could go ahead and uh, change that out. That will only make your build a little bit better. So And then we have the drone to uh, engage in sync and the door kicker's perfect spark so this is my hybrid build oh yeah with uh dun -dun -dun. sorry guys a card 45 pistol with the finisher on it killing an enemy with this weapon and swapping back to it within 10 seconds grants 30 percent critical hit chance and 30 percent critical hit damage along with the pestilence exotic lmg which is my backup weapon and it's an extremely vicious weapon that will get me out of a tight spot and lay down any hostiles around this shit's hella sick anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video i just now let my um memento backpack die because explaining the build was longer than 300 seconds but it doesn't matter i will build that shit back up and get on with the gameplay Thank you guys for watching on Tactical Chaos 1. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you guys have a happy New Year's. Before I end the video, I will go ahead and uh, actually, nah, I might just end it right now. See how quick I built that striker up? Actually, yeah, we'll go ahead and play it a little bit and explain the build as we do it. So you want the drone to keep... As long as the drone's shooting and I'm shooting, I got all my buffs active, this build gets extremely powerful. Oh, that didn't count as a pistol kill because I shot the damn explosive. That was weak. Go ahead and... Uh oh. 
All right, so we are gonna end the video right here. I don't know what he looks like, but there are plenty of hostiles up there. Not for long. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you guys on another one.